You won't be turning into mushrooms or scarecrows. You know what? That sounds like a wonderful thing to not have happen to me. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jackson. We're playing some Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars on Super Nintendo. And I'm trying to remember where to go. There's something about swamp or sewers. Let's see. Oh, okay. That helped us out. Hope y'all are having a lovely day. Because we are on our way to a brand new location. This is the entrance! That's Mallow, if you haven't met him yet. Grandpa says to watch out for Bellom, whoever that is. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. Peace out. Oh, classic Mario. Good old sewers for the second level. Anyway, um, last episode I had, I had mentioned how, oh, um, oh, okay, so, oh, he just, <laughs> he just floats. Mario's a very buoyant, uh, very buoyant man. That's a little known fact about all Italians, is they just float. No need to, they just think their way across water. Uh, redirections, sure. Stand on the pipe and press down. If you're pressing several buttons at the same time, you will not be able to enter. To re what? To re-enter a pipe, jump off once, try again. Just, okay, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to see that notice without having already gone down a pipe. Okay, now we got some branching paths. All right, uh, ooh, ooh, fish on land. Um, so last episode though, I talked about how like I even, it, it, uh, it's taken me a while to get into um, RPGs. And I remember the first RPG I tried, well, other than, where'd this guy come from? Holy, is that a demon? Mice and demons. Of, what is he? <laughs> is he like a, he's got, is that whiskers and ears? Oh my God, Rat Funk and Shadow. That's my favorite hip hop group from the 90s. Good old Rat Funk and Shadow. They were a little known uh, band, uh, never busted much out of the underground uh, in their sewer pop genre that they had originated. Uh, very few did it as well as them. But it just never caught on. That's it. That's a demon. Why is there a demon accompanying these these mice? Let me show you around. I know where all the cheese is because I can go through walls. All right, flowers. Good collecting flowers. Ah, mice everywhere. You see him too, Mallow, right? Oh, what did I get poisoned? Um, but I remember back in, uh, I guess, high school when Borderlands 2 was announced. I had never really branched out. I grew up playing a lot of the same video games over and over again. Like, I played a lot of N64 and GameCube. Um, and then I pretty much, once I got in the way, once, uh, you know, Call of Duty World at War came out uh, in 2000. Eight, I think. Uh, that's pretty much what did he just make me fall in love with a demon? Look at look at him all blushy and shy. I get the same way about demons. Who's that sneaking up behind me? God damn it! <laughs> Ugh. You know when mice shove their butts in your face and you get poisoned. Why do they have gloves? Why is that the only article of clothing they have? Miss? Miss, please don't touch me. Oh, I'm in a poor shape. He has a Mario 60 health. Six health left. Alright, let's heal up. Um, But I pretty much, once I got in the ways of Call of Duty, I pretty much only played that and Guitar Hero. Back and forth, like every day, that was the only games I really played. Um... Oh wait, can't Mallow heal me outside of battle? If you renew it, why? Just before. 
How much? Did, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, and it only cost a three. Wow. Okay. Uh, and they learn new. Oh, they learn new attacks next level. How long till that? Thirty-three. Wow. Okay. So like, just like maybe ten more battles. Um. Oh. I God, I can't have it. Well. It's a mimic. They have mimics in this. Pandorite. Oh, Pandorica. Pandor. Pandora's box. Um. Let's just smack them closed. Um. But I had to uh, never really branched out of, of you know. I mean, early games like Pokemon and I uh, played a lot of like Pikmin and whatnot on the GameCube. But then. When it came to the, the current generation consoles at the time, I hadn't really played anything other than, like, I don't know, Little Big Planet, which is. Don't sleep on Little Big Planet. That's a good game. Um, oh, man. Their wall up in Mario, though. Flame wall. Like, how do you defend against this? Oh, um, miss? Please keep your flame wall away from me. But um, when Borderlands 2 was announced, I remember a friend of mine in uh, at school showing me scream. He's just screaming at me. I, you know what? That uh, I mean, I don't know if that make me fall for someone, but um, I could uh, see it affecting my constitution. That is weird. That is horror movie twitchy body stuff going on right now. Flame ball, flame on. Hoop. <laughs> okay. Don't know when to stop that one either. This guy has a lot of health. Oh my god. If he doesn't go down... Uh... I think I'm gonna need to use some HP rain. Um... What does that do? Is there... Okay, ooh, there we go. But I remember my friend showing me the uh, trailer for Borderlands 2, which was... It was the Sir... Um, hammer. Why, why am I thinking hammer watch? Um, what was his name? The guy that the uh, like biologist sort of true form pin. Let's see what that one does. The guy that studied the natural species on Pandora. You meet him really early on in the game. Um, special. Items. How many mushrooms do I have? Oh, I got plenty. Eat a mushroom. You eat a mushroom too. Mushrooms all around. Wanna raise a lot of points? Boom! And a full heal. I should, if I had known that, I would have waited a little bit, but oh well. And then... Rare frog coin. You won't be turning into mushrooms to scarecrows. You know what? That sounds like a wonderful thing to not have happen to me. So, I'm going to go ahead and use that. And then... Down here. Va! Ah. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. I was just... Oh, it takes me back, I bet. Oh, just a whole other... Mario floating through the water. Can he dive? No. Okay. I wonder if... Oh! And... I'm not familiar with any of this area. We're gonna keep on going. I feel like I've messed up. Okay, then what's in here? If that was all of that, what am I missing here? Uh. Okay. Oh. Oh, I can't jump up that. Oh no. So many demons, Mallow. Um, and I'd never seen a, a that trailer. I'd never seen a game like that. You know, it's weird how games are marketed to either their audience or the masses. You know, they, they talked about this when, um, oh, 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 he's just, he forgot something. He forgot something important. It's interesting how, um, when some of these games have to focus on marketing just to get attention because, you know, one really big series for people who consider themselves gamers or just part of that world. Bioshock, incredibly popular series, um, su very successful, 
very enjoyed by hundreds and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. Um, but the Bioshock Infinite, they originally had a very artistic sort of uh, cover art for it, but they were saying, I think Ken Levine, the director of it, said how um, they had to go, that's what now is the, I believe, alternate artwork, is what they originally had. So you can still see it, you, you just have to turn the physical copies um, art, art inside the case, you have to turn it around. And he was saying how they originally wanted that one, but they had to just dumb it down, essentially, so that anybody could know what the game is, kind of, just by looking at the case. So they had to basically just do what every game was doing at the time and just slap the main character holding a gun, looking dramatic, on the cover. And that was that. That was all you had to do with it. And then, because that's, I mean... It got me, I was, because after I played Borderlands, because my friends convinced me to get it, um, to play with them, uh, that was my first foray into RPGs, but then my, then I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna just find a game on my own and try something different, and I got this unheard of game, Bioshock, and just, uh, you know, it, it was impressive how they did, you know, they did catch me with that cover, even though it wasn't artistic or anything. If it were more artistic, it'd be some un weirdo indie game to me, and I wouldn't have cared, probably. I wouldn't have gotten it because it's it's too confusing, I bet. Um, you know, I might as well not even try. Or, or it's some weirdo... It's just not for me, um, theoretically, if I were to see that. So I, they did it right, because I was used to games like Call of Duty where they just slap one guy looking dramatic on the cover, and that's that. They got me hooked. Um, but it's got to be huh, huh. I knew it. Um, but oh god, I need to think about where I am apparently. Um, no, wait. Okay, so that's where I got the. Is that where I, I killed the boo and the mice? So I came this way, but I don't want to go in the water because that takes me all the way back. Maybe up here? What? Oh, are they like, they don't, oh no, they do go back to the places they sent you. Boy. Um. I mean, I think Borderlands was a good first opportunity into RPGs for somebody who's new to it because I had no clue what that was. Like I said, when I played you know, Paper Mario and, Mar and Pokemon, I didn't think of those as RPGs. I still really don't necessarily because they're so just simplified. Um, you know, you hear RPG and I would think like open world RPG like um, Skyrim or Fallout and then or uh, a shooter RPG like Borderlands or something. And then there's like true RPGs, JRPGs, tactical or, you know, they're everywhere. There are all sorts of subgenres and whatnot. Now, I still really haven't branched into that much. I haven't explored the world of JRPGs very much, um, except for these sort of westernized ones like this, or just popularized in the West, like Mario and whatnot. But again, it's not. It's not even Final Fantasy level. And then you know, um, I would have to say the most. No oh, super jump. What do they need? What do they? Uh, damage. Let's get some more damage. Mallow also wants... Oh, okay. Mallow learned true self. You gotta get him some HP too. Um, where am I going? What am I doing? Was he guarding that? Was that the right idea? Oh, this is different. Um, What's this button do? What's the button do? Stay away from me. Uh... Water has been drained. Ah, can I even hit these guys? Is that the idea of booze can't physically hurt them. Oh well, no, I uh, I murdered him easily. You know when you expect you won't hurt someone and you just accidentally murder them. That's what uh, this game's all about. Oh, he scared me. Scared me one fiftieth to death. Um, but uh. <laughs> What they saying? Um, 
the uh, endo bubble. Whoop. I don't. What does the heart mean? Like, he's just so impressed by her bubble blowing. Item pure water. Yeah, right. Did you find that down here? Are you kidding me? Wait. Was that what I was supposed to do? I'm saving. Was that what I was supposed to do? If that... I can't tell if that undid... The water draining, because the water's still here. Unless that was supposed to be in, like, the next area. Oh, yeah, okay. We're good. Move along. That's why there's so many of these paths. Nice level design. You know, I'll give this one to you, Miyamoto. No, I'm sure he didn't do much of this. All right. Now we got stuff. Let's get up there. Get away from... Get, get on now. Get. Um, but starting the RPG world with uh, Borderlands, I think, was a good idea as a... As a Commonplace peasant console gamer. Holy! Just gonna walk on by him. Now that's what I call a door! I wonder how you open it. Th this must be Bellum! Bellamy! Is that a fire hose or, or his tongue? Mmm, ho ho ho! Ack, it's a free, it's a sn snack attack. I don't know where I got the word free. And you're it. Okay, I'm healed. I was like, do I need to heal before this battle? Um, let's do a good old fire orb. Um, because at least Borderlands. Uh, okay, I'm hitting it very much more frequently than that. Um, at least Borderlands has a, uh, Sort of. Ooh. Um, service has been kind to me. Here, where's my bib? Lick. Lick, lick. Um, because it gave you kind of options. You know, you had each, you had each, um, class. I think in two, it, Borderlands 2, it was, um, the Gunzerker, the Commando, um, the Assassin, and the Siren. And I, I play the assassin. I'm always, I'm pretty much always support and long distance, and then with a little bit of stealth. I like like roguish characters, sniping long distance and healing. Um, and that one, what was better about not not just having the four? Let's see what this does. One, only one. Okay. Huh. Oh, okay. Was that how much health he has left? Maybe? Huh. Oh, oh, Mario's tired. I bet he's gonna... That's probably a fall asleep in a few turns sort of thing. Alright. Um. So. Beyond... Can't, can't stand it. The hunger, the hunger. Oh. Huh. Uh, let's try this guy. 52, okay. Um. Well. 48. Well, then it's not worth it. That was scary. That was in his voice, was it? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> let's combine every voice. Everyone gets one voice made of 50 voices. Um. So, uh, because he... Because beyond the stick to a stick for a body, head full of straw, give me a skip go rah rah rah. Rah! Stick go bump. Oh. Oh, I have a, um, I have that. Didn't that thing escape me from becoming a scarecrow in a mushroom? So, as long as he doesn't use that on a mallow, I'm good. Um. But beyond the four classes, each class kind of had three branches. Um, I mean, that's what the current Assassin's Creed games are doing. It's like Sniper, Ghost Warrior, and whatnot. 
but you know my I don't know them all I wasn't very familiar with each of them but with the assassin character zero you could be it had your you could allot your points into you know stealth but also sniping and also your sword skills so it's like okay do you really want to come what do you really want to focus on your long distance or your sneaking or your melee all the three options it's like uh, you could be a close and personal sort of uh sneaky guy or just an all blades blazing um attacker or a long distance never get touched sort of guy and then they all, every other class in that game had that same sort of spread and i thought that was a good introduction to somebody who can't who apparently just eats mallow and barfs on mario that's his strategy um, I've got that blocked down, at least. Um, cause... I don't... And I like, I like... One thing that I don't enjoy about RPGs necessarily is the class, like, fitting to a class. Like, obviously this game... It... it luckily, since it's a, it's a simplified RPG, it's not as big a deal. But, it's like, I'm not gonna be a, a magic Mario. I'm not gonna be a tank Mario. You can't change it, you know? He's got hit, he's just a character. Which is fine in a game like this. In other games, you have your, you have classes that you're just stuck to. I played Octopath Traveler, and uh, that one's, you wear the flood. Huh? This is Halo now? Um. You know, Octopath Traveler, every character is, you know, you got your know, Ol Ulbrich, which is like a tank. Um, Alfin, which is a, a sort of mage secondary healer, or Ophelia was the main healer, like glass, not even glass cannon, just glass. <laughs> um, Bello must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Hey, Mario, do you hear something, or is it just me? Water, here it comes with Mario at the button before we washed away. Mallow, you dumb shit. Ugh. Hmm. Quick, land on the clown thing. This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Well, yeah. You'll start off first at the falls. Use a control pad to move left or right and score coins. Isn't falling to your death fun? Push B to make a little headway against the flow. Along the way, there are a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. You're gonna keep the rocks at the bottom of the waterfall a surprise, a surprise aren't you? Now if you go. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, okay. I can go in caves. Uh, is this? It's a small world. I'm not doing anything. Oh, how do you go up? Um, what is happening? What was the point of that? Okay, we're gonna stick left. Doesn't say what the greens are worth. Okay. You meet green. Feel like maybe I should enter these sometimes. What? Wait. What did that? Okay. Oh, so some of them give you things. This is interesting. Uh, aha! I chose the right one. Unless it just gives you the benefit of the doubt and helps you out with the... Which, which ones have the green? Oh. Now for the barrel jumping event. Our next contestant, Mario. How did I get here? Sure, why not? Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. Miss it and you'll change course. Well, looks like you're ready, and I'll send you on your way. Almost forgot to tell you. Don't die. 
Leap over the fish that pop up or you'll lose coins. Oh, wait. How do I... How do I switch, like, lanes? What? Why is there a second lane if I can't access it? Damn it. Oh, that's why. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Ba, ba, ba. Um... Oh! Ha! Ah! No! That guy was sneaky. Okay, so I guess some you want to actually be pushed into the other... Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Ah! I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh! Okay, at least it's time, like, where you can still get the coin and avoid the fish. All right, it's not, it's not a triathlon. Wasn't that fun? You got 46 coins. Trade the coins you got from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time bonus, you'll I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones. The Tadpole Pond got, Tadpole Pond's got more info on them. You got 46 coins, but that's not enough to cash in. So I'll hold them for you, okay? Go back and try again. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. A knock-knock shell. Who's there? <laughs> anyway. Level six is the next one. Okay. So we're doing all right. What do we got? What is this knock-knock shell? Kick to attack. Who can... Okay, it's only him. It's a hammer... So he goes 39, 49, the sh okay, the shell's stronger than the hammer, I guess, right? Yeah, 10 points more, cool, let's try that out. Okay, that's, that's just progress, I guess. The Midas River, all right. Please tell me there's Yoshis on that island. I love that stuff. Oh, when they do that. All right, I'm guessing the clowns need to back up, so let's just save and continue on our merry way. We don't got time for rafting whenever we feel like it. Come on, Toad. Tadpole Pond, all right, what do they gotta say about these frog coins? Ooh, I'm liking the music. Oh! Gross, who, this, who let this huge tadpole live here? Hi, how can I, can I help you? Mallow, it's you. We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Bellamy, right? You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Did you mean to rhyme? Are you really the Mar Super Mario? Hey, everybody, you'll never guess who's here. Holy shit. He's the real thing. He's the real thing, but he doesn't like, look anything like I thought he would. I don't know who's speaking. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. <laughs> what's that? Ew. Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Grandpa! Mario's been helping me! I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch! Watch it up there! You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Oh boy. Oh yeah, there's the <laughs> there's a wire. It's awesome. We'll lock it too. I like how they keep him just out of frame. Welcome! So you are Mario, yes? I am Frog Fuchsia. 
You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. <laughs> but how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear, full reverse. Okay. Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make yourself useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Huh. All right. Um. Who? We'll uh, walk across these tadpoles' bodies next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See you around.